Hey, beautiful. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Um, oh my God. It's been such a long time. Uh, it's been such a long time. I feel like I have a whole different, like, life. Like, I didn't died, got reborn, like, like, literally died. Been birthed as a baby, had a whole different life, and grew up, and now I'm trying to, like, be an adult speak on a life that I had in a previous life <laughs> like it's been that much of like change it's it's been like a lot of stuff that has gone on I didn't even um look through any of my you know other times that I've like posted videos I kind of was feeling like um nostalgic and I would go through like you know, videos that, like, back in the day when I used to talk to you guys all the time, or, you know, whatnot, and, uh, I didn't even do that this time. Like, I seen some comments. I've been seeing them. I've, I, every now and then on Instagram, I'll get, like, one or two, like, uh, comments, then I'll get, like, one or two, three messages, uh, like, direct messages. Um, where people they you know say something about like oh I seen you on YouTube do you still make videos or are you gonna make another video and then Twitter tonight um, shout out to AC um, I saw your Twitter message you guys said like hey I was wondering if you're gonna record any new videos and I seen that in the past that we've like like throughout the years i guess that i've been doing this can you believe that throughout the years <laughs> that i've been doing this um i seen that we had talked back and forth a few times um i there's two things i guess that i want to talk to you about and then we'll cut it what the purpose of this video is one to catch you up and tell you why i don't post that much anymore what the hell has happened here and then um the second thing is to just talk to you about what it's been like for me as a truck driver <laughs> um so i'm gonna start with the first part of just like sharing why i really don't post anymore and what has gone on you know like what what's been going on first of all cam and i are still together actually to tell you the truth something cool is that this year was the first year um even though he's locked up we filed our taxes as joint um this is the second year that we've been married oh my gosh it's the second year he still calls me every day I have actually right now, I wish I'm recording on my iPhone. I don't even have a computer, uh, which will bring me as to why I'm going to tell you about how trucking has been for me. Because I think, I, I thought, as I think some of you may have thought, like, it's like, oh, you become a trucker and it's like, you're just making money. Um, I'm going to share with you my struggle that I've been going through in this industry. It is, it's not like what you think just like everything everything is never as it seems you have like artists remember when tlc who shout out to anybody who remembers back in the day with with tlc when they got on the stage on tv and they like we broke <laughs> like it's like yeah you know we got these fancy outfits but it's like we ain't been paid no money it's like nothing is ever as it seems honey nothing is ever as it seems and i've been going through hell to be honest uh there's a lot of regret i have with this trucking thing but um i will close it off with something positive because there is an opportunity on the horizon that i do feel like finally will be uh, what i got into this for i i think that you know but that's 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 part two of this this conversation that we're about to have but just to just start out why i don't post it as much anymore and what's been going on why i don't post anymore is uh i've been dealing with a lot a lot like i i mean if you've seen my videos before i've always been dealing with a lot that was kind of like why i came up here that was why i have a connection with a lot of you guys because i i started to learn as i would see people watching that um 
you know, people, a lot of people go through really tough shit in their life. And it's like when they seen me and seen that it's like, oh, I just still felt like, oh, honey, like, I'm gonna be fabulous. Like, you know, whatever. I ain't gonna let like, you know, obstacles get to me. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it moving. You know, prison and all in prison. It's like, okay, I'm gonna just do me. Like, I don't care what's going on with these queens with these guys. And I was just sharing with you like, you know what it was like what it, from 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 my side, like from from my walk of life this is what it was for me and at the end of the day i'm not gonna trip about it like i'm just gonna keep it rolling keep it moving and do me you know and i seen that there was a lot of people that they drew uh, a relation to it like a connection to it and at the same time like admired it and then some people like honestly drew strength from it you know like you know and I, that's when i started to connect with you guys so much and i loved like the comments and responding to every comment and really feeling like a connection to each person that was here that was commenting anyway and where it's different now is the lifestyle is different when i was making videos were before uh i was living with my mother and i just had a little part-time job at the grocery store down the street i literally used to walk to it and then i got a car and i you know it was a five minute drive like i was i was in a stable situation right now i don't have an apartment i still have my car um and i live on this truck i live on this truck like literally i live on this truck let me give you a quick little Everything's a mess, so don't judge me too harshly, honey. But let me give you a quick little show. Like, okay, um, this is, you know, I have like, oh my gosh. I have like uh, bags. What is in here is like, these are like toiletries and stuff. Um, these are like uh, seasonings and stuff. Then I have up here, um, I took a shower recently, but I, I can't even plug in my microwave, which that's a whole separate conversation. That's part of the part two conversation. But you know, I got like, like plates and whatnot. I have cups and, uh, what is it? Utensils, napkins, you know, wh whatever. Like, you know, my bags and I got my clothes, you know, my, my bed and stuff. It's like, you know, I live on the truck. I live on the truck. Like I'm, I'm always on the truck. I'm always driving. Um, which I want to feel like brings me into how frustrating this, this, this job has become, but I'll save that for a second, just a second. But in terms of what's been going on, a lot has been going on. My sister, which if you don't know, um, my sister and I are really close. We were a year and a half apart. We grew up together, uh... Recently, she, you know, she was in the hospital, but um, she's she's out and she's doing better. But it's like the stuff that goes on with my sister, it really wears me down. For anybody that's been here for a while, I think you know that like I have a drinking problem. And uh, part of why I got locked up, actually the reason I got locked up is because I was drinking all the time. I was drunk and um, I attacked that officer. And then, you know, I got hemmed up with charges. Um, when I came out, I stopped drinking. The first time that I ever picked up a drink was when my sister moved into the condo with me and my mother. And she's going through a lot of things that that is still very unclear. It To this day, it's still very unclear. It's unclear if there was some sort of emotional trauma abuse that happened to her if it was from this car accident that happened to her and there's like a physical like nerve damage um if it's just genetics you know if it's from drugs because she did used to smoke weed and stuff back in the day or if it's a combination of all three it to this day is still very unclear but the part that makes it so painful is the fact that she's the only girl in the family She's the baby of the family. And she's always been, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna cry. Cause I feel like every time I get up here, I just be crying, you know, I'm not gonna cry. But it's like, but 
she's always been like the sunshine in the family. Like she's always been just the sweet person in the family. Like, you know, and it's like for this to have happened to her, it just is very, it's just not easy. It's just really not easy. And especially for me, because I grew up with her. My earliest memories are with her. And we always were like 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 a pair. We they literally call us twins. She still calls us twins. And in fact, when she was in the hospital and she was coming to, she, it was my name that she was saying, you know? It's like it's 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 a lot. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And and when you go through things there's a there's a goal, you know. There's there's a, a a light at the end of the tunnel. Even with me in prison and stuff, even with Cam in prison, no matter how much time, no matter how long or whatever, there's a mark where you know that this sh too shall pass. There's an end point with this. But when it comes to her, what makes it so challenging? is the unknown it's like will this too pass is this just what it is you know will forever we just never know why everything just suddenly flipped one day you know it's just it's a lot it is it is it's very painful and it never gets any easier you have that then you have, you know, Cam and I, the struggle of, I don't want to be with somebody that I'm constantly telling you guys about. I want to be with somebody that is here. <laughs> like you see him, you see him and you see us interacting with each other and kissing each other and talking to each other, you know, taking pictures to, with each other. It's like, I, I don't want to be with somebody that is locked away, you know, but this is the relationship. I made the choice to stay with somebody like this and I like have pretty much dedicated my life to trying to get him out you know and this career choice was supposed to be the pathway that was going to lead to freedom well now we can segue into this industry, how it is not quite what it seems. Something that I have learned since I've been doing this is that you don't just get your CDL license and now you're making you know, thousands of dollars every week and you're just making big money and it's like truckers just make big money. It's not really actually like that. To cut it short, from what I've seen, there's two ways that you actually make good money that you can live off of excuse me actually three there's three ways the two ways that i was actually going to speak on is becoming an owner operator which even that i'm learning and hearing that it's not quite as lucrative as it used to be to just become an owner operator because loads which would bring me to what my problem is you know in a second i'm gonna tie it together but loads they are harder to come by um, it's, it's a waiting game at times, um, you know, so it's not as lucrative, but why it still can be lucrative is because right now me as a truck driver who is waiting on loads to be given to me, I am only going to be paid a certain cent per mile for this load. The rest of the money that the load actually is paying out is going to the company. It's going to the driver manager that I have to report to. It's going to the dispatch department. It's going to the owners of the company. It's going to everybody else. And me as the driver, I'm just being paid a certain amount of cents per mile to get this load. But when you're an owner operator, the pro with it is that you get all of the money. If, if somebody is offering a load, it's like, oh, can you take this shipment from Michigan to North Carolina? We'll pay you $8,000. I'm gonna get $8,000 for that one load. 
However, the catch with it is like right now, I'm in a shitty ass truck. This is literally the truth. I'm not saying this as like an example. I, I've been in new trucks. This truck that I'm in right now, it constantly is breaking down. It is constantly having issues, constantly. It is an older truck, and it's only like two, three years old. But like when you're a truck driver and you're always driving, you know, you can run up miles, run up issues within a year. And it's like, this truck is like two, three years old. I think it's literally 2021, you know? And yeah, I think it's 2021. Yeah, and and it it, it is, it is always having issues the mirror has fallen off of it i got a headlight that's in a week ago the headlight was out before that the door on the inside wouldn't open um i've had tire issues i had an issue with the 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 the, the wiring when you hook to the trailer the electrical cord had issues like like and i if i think about it i can keep going it's like or even now I get messages where it says like there's water in the fuel the check engine light is always coming on it's just an old truck it's like it's always having problems but being that I'm a company driver anytime that I keep reporting like okay the truck is having this problem the truck is having this problem they pay for it they pay for it at the terminal with the mechanics that they pay we'll fix it or if I'm out and about this route me to a truck shop with a mechanics shop and you know the mechanics fix it you know what I'm saying I don't have to pay for it as an owner operator yeah you get a load eight thousand dollars cool but when I have issues with my truck I either have to know how to fix it myself or I have to pay the bill <laughs> to fix it the other thing is fuel I don't pay for fuel you have to fuel up your truck literally every other day and the fuel bill is like five to seven hundred dollars every other day five to seven hundred dollars the fuel bill is ridiculous also you have to pay for your permits you have to pay for your registration and you have to pay for your insurance which somebody had explained to me that insurance is not like car insurance um you might have to especially if this is your first truck that you're getting the guy said he was like you, you know you might have to pay five thousand dollar down payment to the insurance comp insurance company just for them to insure you like it's expensive and that and i don't even know what the actual bill would be he didn't tell me you know what i'm saying but you have to pay all these things plus if you're if you're if you're uh got a uh a loan on your tractor your truck then you'd also have to pay payments on your truck so it's like there's a lot of people that they break even but still in all it can be lucrative if you're an owner operator if you can make it but the other way that i know the one that i forgot when i said three is uh becoming a um trainer trainers get more money because the the pay per mileage is a little bit higher also you get paid for the miles that the trainee is driving the trainee is only going to get a flat rate per week like four hundred dollars five hundred maybe seven hundred dollars a week but in terms of the miles per the cents per miles you're going to get paid for their mileage and you're going to get paid for your mileage and your cents per mileage is more. And something else that I didn't know that recently, these people that I'm driving for, they've been trying to get me to become a trainer and something I didn't know, but like the guy was telling me, he's like, you know, and also you get bonuses. I didn't know this, that you get bonus every time that a trainee of yours completes the training part and they upgrade to becoming a driver for the company, you get a bonus. And then if they're with the company for three months, you get a bonus, which I guess makes sense because you would probably get a bonus because clearly your training was good. Like that they stayed with the company for three months, they didn't get in no accidents, you know, so it's like your training is obviously good, so they give you a bonus. So, you know, that's two bonuses, plus you already, you know, and you're still working on other trainees. I'm not, I mean, I feel like I shouldn't need to even explain it to you. Like, clearly, I'm not at all interested in becoming a trainer. Like, I got somebody from prison calling me every day. I need my space. I'm private. I'm gay. 
like I'm from prison. I'm, you know, I don't want to be dealing with funky ass people. This is a male dominated industry. You know, who the fuck is even going to be listening to me? You know, I, like I, I have no desire to become a trainer. So that leaves me with option three, a dedicated route, which I think I might have mentioned this in the last time that I spoke to you. Maybe I'm not sure. A dedicated route is truly how you actually make money as a truck driver. Like when you think of like truck drivers, they make good money. They are on dedicated routes. A dedicated route means that you are driving a specific route, like 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 a newspaper route, but it's like you have specific stops and it's consistent. You're going to the same places every week. You're doing the same mileage every week. Therefore, you're making the same amount of money every week. And being that you're working for an account, the, the cents per mile can be higher. And then also there's little things with that, like, you know, such as the route that I'm trying to get, which is why I was gonna say I'm gonna end this on a positive thing. It, uh, you, right now I'm driving, I don't do sh nothing. Like I literally drive the trailer to the shipper. Um, either they unload it or I drop the trailer off and then I pick up an empty or if they unload it then I just leave I don't do nothing with like the load but there are accounts where you can where you can unload the trailer load the trailer that pays more the account that I'm trying to get right now I would be driving plus I would be unloading the trailer loading the trailer that pays more now I'd actually make some good money right now believe it or not some weeks i'm not even making as much as i made when i was a shift manager at mcdonald's a shift manager at mcdonald's i was making a consistent 1100 to 1200 dollars every two weeks right now some weeks i'll make 1100 dollars very few i can count on one hand when i made over a thousand dollars but that's great most weeks i'm getting 600 400 500 dollars 700 dollars like and it's like it's really inconsistent and it's really frustrating because to do this i actually fell in the, the hole there was like months that i wasn't working i was already living paycheck to paycheck and then when I went to CDL school and then had to go to, through training and stuff, there was like months that I wasn't making any money and all my bills went into the red, basically. So now I'm trying to climb back from that. And being that I'm making about the same as what I was making from paycheck to paycheck, even after all this time, <laughs> the same as what I was making to paycheck to paycheck to sometimes even a little bit less, it's been very frustrating. It's been very stressful. Like it's it's been it's been very frustrating. It's been very stressful, you know? And then as it relates to with me not posting, um I'm on the road all the time. So I don't have any Wi-Fi or anything like that. I would love should I get this dedicated route that I'm trying to get? I would love to get a laptop and a hot box but you know hot box or hot box a hot spot but you know hot spots you have to pay like a monthly membership for that and you know then i could like upload videos all the time but right now depending upon where i'm at sometimes because i'm always operating off of um cellular cell cellular data and sometimes the videos they just don't upload you know so it's just it's just discouraged me from trying to really, you know, post when I can make a video and then the videos don't post. Uh, plus also I'm frazzled about everything that's been going on, like mon money wise, uh, trying to keep up with my bills, trying to pay back my bills and, you know, get, get ahead, which is what I'm trying to do. My credit was so good and now it's all shot to shit. And then third thing is I'm always at a shipyard or a truck stop and something that I realized tonight is like I really just don't give a fuck so that's why I'm doing it but most of the time I'm self-conscious but uh, these people can hear you like the only time they can't hear you 
is when your engine is running but it's so loud that if I was to turn on my engine right now you really wouldn't be able to hear me I'll do it I don't know let me know in the comments like with the engine going let me know in the comments like how much better or worse this has made the sound quality but you know when the engine's running people can't hear you as much but i know for a fact because i i can hear people when the engine is not running you can hear people and there's been times there's something that irritates me forget about the videos because i know that i've made a couple of videos for those of you that are here all the time where you've seen like somebody cut out the engine and whatever that's not even what i'm talking about i'll be on the phone talking to cam talking to my girlfriend like i got the, a friend from a previous job uh, that we're still really cool talking to my mama i'll be on the phone and it's like i'll have my engine off the person beside me has their engine going and i can hear it going but then they'll cut out their engine when i start talking and it's like then i'll turn my engine on you know what i mean it's like what the hell but i'll turn it off but it's like you know and you know I, for those of y'all that have been here for a minute and i feel like most of y'all that stay here especially after this shit you know i feel like it's a lot of people that y'all stay um i am private and i hate even though i'm talking online to me it's not talking to everybody it's talking to people that get people that understand and like there's a connection you know because it's like if you get in what i'm saying and you know you, you, there's a connection I'm not talking to just any old body, you know? And it's like, I don't know. The eavesdroppers, I, I, yeah. it just pisses me off. It just pisses me off. I don't know, maybe it doesn't make sense, but uh, before I close this off, oh, I did good. We're not at 30 minutes. Oh, I did good. I'm out of practice. We ain't at 30 minutes, hey. Oh, I'm getting back to the old days, 20 minutes, but it's, you know, okay. Um, before I close this off, Something that I want to say is thank you to everybody, but especially there are some of you that I've noticed that are still members on this channel, still Patreons, members on Patreon. And it's like, I feel so unworthy because it's like you know i i didn't create this just to take people's money like i i want to give you something you know but it's like right now it's just been a lot and to see that there's still some people that it's like you just like i don't know just hanging on to me i guess it 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 it, it, it it's my heart can't take it <laughs> my heart can't take it like I just I, I feel unworthy and I'm just really truly thankful and I just want to say I appreciate you so much and I'm sorry that I'm not how I used to be I hate it I do hate it like I know it can go months months and it just seems like I just moved on with my life and it's like okay lucky ain't about youtube no more or he just uh, not on social media but it's like that's not really what it is it's like i'm i'm really going through a lot look at me look at my older videos with my hair done dyed my hair was dyed you know i did put on my eyebrows today but it's like but i mean i you know thinner i was thinner <laughs> i can show y'all older pictures of me too i was i've always been kind of thin it's like i look different <laughs> like i didn't gain a little weight i'm always wearing a hat like you know it ain't all you know fabulous it's like i've been going through a lot it's like in some ways i told this to cam one time i was like in some ways i feel like i was better off in prison <laughs> like, it's like out here it's like it's been a lot on my shoulders like it's like a lot and it's like you know i was just telling this to my home girl that i talk to all the time um because i you know there's just different things that have been going on in the family and it's like you know i was telling her i'm like i can't save everybody it's like i you know i'm still trying to save myself and my husband who's in prison and it's like i'm looking to the lord that he'll bless me to do that and it's like and then i got all these people it's like you know people they just expect me to be there for them 
I'm doing the best that I can. And it is really, truly taken all of everything that I got. Like, it's taken everything that I got, you know? But I do miss the good old days when you and I used to just kick it online. <laughs> and I'd just be telling you the good old gossip, responding to comments. Like, man, those were the good days. And I pray that I'm going to get that back. Like, my thought is that one day... Hopefully it's coming because there's a dedicated route that I'm up for and she's doing the background check She's making she just called me tonight. So maybe that's why I feel inspired to make a video But she just called me. She said, oh, you know, the background check came through. I'm sending it to the safety department Can you write a little statement and all that stuff and I'm hoping that everything goes through but the dedicated route would be Why I got into this trucking business to begin with it would pay more money than I've ever made in my whole life. I would definitely be able to, if it really is what I'm thinking, I would definitely be able to straighten my life out, save to get this lawyer for Cam. We have a law firm that they just waiting on a check. Um, a great law firm that all they, this is all they deal with is like criminal law and clemencies, pardons, juvenile, you know. It, like it this is the law firm they just need a check so i'm just praying that this is it i'd be able to get an apartment cam will come out and cam and i talk all the time every day as a matter of fact and we talk all the time that what we want to do is be online you know y'all will see a video of when he's released and he comes out i won't look like this when i know that my baby's coming out trust and believe <laughs> homeboy gonna make a radical turn to the left and I will be I, I know what I got I got a fine looking man that loves to hump me every fucking day and I'm trying to keep him <laughs> so this is gonna slim down quick fast all of this is gonna slim down quick fast like I don't care if I don't have to eat. I'll be, I'll be starving myself. I'll be like, yeah, I'm good. I got my water. I'll be, you know, came home to visit my mom for the weekend or whatever, you know. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, what are we going to eat? I'll be like, oh, we can go anywhere. Yeah, I'll be drinking my water. They're, You're not hungry, Brian? No, I'm not really hungry. Like, I, I'm going to make sure. Like, when I finally know that there's a countdown, like, no. Y'all will see. You, I'll see in the comments. You'll be like, oh, you done drop? Oh, my God, look how much weight you done dropped. Like, yeah. Like, my baby coming home. <laughs> yeah, but we talk all the time that when he comes home, we want to be online um, past 30 minutes. So, ain't shit changed. But we want to be online making videos. We want to do, like, workout videos because he works out all the time. So, I figured we'd create, like, OnlyFans and we do, like, workout videos on OnlyFans. I could be doing squats and I'm like squatting down on his nose. <laughs> we want to get some dogs, maybe create like an Instagram for the dogs and stuff, you know? And then, uh, yeah, you know? And then just like do this, he'll ride with me. Maybe eventually he'll learn how to do the dispatching. We can save up for a truck, you know? Like do it on our own still make videos and the ultimate goal is like we get an RV and we just like drive around the United States making videos for you guys like that is the goal so it's like it's it sucks that I'm not making any videos right now you know I love I love doing this I, I love like talking to people and something that I had seen this is my last part and then I'm done something that I seen that was so cool is um Back when I first was starting to do this, I had seen an article about a guy on YouTube that he used to visit some of the people that uh, watched him and commented all the time. And he would make videos of him coming to meet them. You know, like, it's like, you know, meeting my subscriber and stuff. And he said it was so magical. It, obviously, the videos did great. But he said, but, like, it was such a, a meaningful encounter. And I've, like, since knowing some of you guys, 
I thought like that would be amazing like to get an RV and drive around and create videos and then like come and see some of you guys like you know I know some of you guys where y'all live New Orleans Chicago you know it's like I, you know y'all have told me where y'all live and as you see I still remember you know it, Las Vegas like you know that would be so cool and you could see Cam you could actually see Cam is a real person and we really have been sticking this out <laughs> you know and it's like you know so I just keep praying I just keep praying and just trying to do the best that I can but I'm up for this dedicated route and I really hope that I get it uh, they got my background I sent them the statement the rest is in God's hand you know but in the meantime what I've been doing is I'm really working waiting for loads and you know it's not like you just get loads and you just can keep getting it you know sometimes they are live loads where they load up your trailer and unload your trailer and that can take hours which eats into your time for the week especially if you get one after another after another like it's like you know by the end of the week you've only done two loads three loads like you know because there's an appointment time you pick up at this day at this time and then you don't have you can't deliver until the next day at this time and then if it takes 10 8 6 hours each time that's 24 hours right there you know even 6 and 6 right 12 no that's 12 <laughs> let me go all right well i love you guys and stay tuned thank you for like being here and I pray and hope to be able to give more um, God willing you know if I'm blessed to do so I it, it would be my honor to be back the way that I used to be posting all the time you know responding all the time but it's just not been you know easy lately so I just stay away and just keep to myself child. but I hope you're doing well and talk to you later bye beautiful